Hey y'all, welcome back to Aries Routines. This is an overview of what we'll be used in today's video. Here I am looking crazy. This is three day hair dry. I haven't touched it. Um, I'm using the Long and Lux Pomegranate Passion Fruit as I am shampoo and conditioner today. Um, it is a review. I have not used these products before. I do usually use the pomegranate scent by Miel or Miel, um, but I have some mixed reviews on that. So trying something new. Y'all, the shampoo had my hair so soft and my curls really defined for just the shampoo. Now, this conditioner, um, it was different, man. <laughs> it was real different. You'll see shortly I show the consistency of it. It almost seemed like it had shampoo in it. Like, almost like it's a co-wash. I double-checked. It is a conditioner. <laughs> you will see the confusion in my face. It didn't make sense to me. <laughs> it was strange. Y'all, here I am trying to finger detangle this hair with this conditioner. It had no slip. So I do end up using my Demon brush and going through it. I had to reread the bottle to make sure it wasn't their shampoo because it seemed like it was lathering. So it was really strange. I'm just clipping my hair out of the way so I can complete the body portion of this shower routine. So y'all know I love to double cleanse. I always double cleanse. I'm going in with a Dove Beauty Bar Original and a rag. I always start off with a rag and I suds up and I get every crease and crevice <laughs> that there is. But y'all don't need to see all that. So I'll be right back. <laughs> Today I am shaving with the Skintimate Raspberry Rain shaving cream and just a cheap razor i do not shave every shower but i did need to shave my armpits this does have a good lather i rather my eos pomegranate scent but i couldn't find it but it does have a good lather so for feminine wash i'm using the daily feminine wash i put in my other video it's the only one i use i've tried so many and i've been using this for years i love it i use my hand and you know get it going <laughs> <laughs> so we're going in with the reviving body wash in pomegranate lemon scent and a scrubber cloth it's like an unraveled loofah um they sell them at target that's where i got mine and as far as the body wash goes i know it's the generic version of a dove's um pomegranate scent but i love this one so much more i've been using it since 2015 maybe and I've never been a fan of the pomegranate scent by Dove. Um, so I use this one always. It's sweeter to me. Um, and I love a sweet scent. Um, but we're going in with that cloth. And just just like you would use your exfoliation gloves. The same place as I use these. Um, get behind those ears, y'all. So for our body scrub or polish of today, we are going in with the Dove pomegranate seeds and shea butter body polish again it is super gentle it is not like a salt or sugar scrub um, it's just a polish so it's not as abrasive um, so keep that in mind if you see me doing them back to back um, i just like i feel like the scrubs get the actual scent in your skin um, so now i'm just going in and rinsing out that conditioner that really felt like a shampoo i'm just going to rinse it out slightly because i don't have a leave-in today so we're gonna get out of the shower and do all the steps that makes these fragrances last. <laughs> so I am gonna start by wrapping my hair up in a t-shirt. Um, that microfiber towel I'm actually washing at the moment so I didn't have it but I either use that towel or a t-shirt. I just wrap it on up and get my hair out of the way. Once my hair is wrapped up, I'll go in with my moisturizer. I'm using the EOS pomegranate scent and of course the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Oil. Combine the two, y'all. It is the most moisturizing thing ever. Thank you, Miss Jamima. Thank you. 
to keep the booty cracks fresh y'all know the trick witch hazel in a carton round this is cucumber after that i apply the sweet cheeks watermelon deodorant it is for your cheeks and other intimate areas but i only use it on my butt crack um it smells amazing they also have it in peach so for armpit deodorant, I'm going in with a Secret Outlast. It's a travel size. I couldn't find my other one. And just aluminum-free pomegranate scent. I have to combine the two or I will be musty. So for perfume today, I'm going in with the Vanilla Bean Fragrance Oil for my base. And the pomegranate scented Granite from Target. It was $20. So y'all, I am speeding through this hair because the products I use are not pomegranate scented. I'm using the Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie um, Coconut and Hibiscus and the Coconut and Hibiscus Jelly as well. I sh I'll show you in a bit. Um, I usually would pair this shower routine with the Miel or Mayel um, products in the pomegranate, I believe, honey scent, but I noticed thinning thinning excuse me in my hair and I'm trying to figure out what products may be causing it um, because there are no health issues causing it um, so that's the only reason I'm not using it right now um, but it is a great pair with this shower routine so I'm just putting edge control on my edges I don't know if it's just me it can't be just me Edge control does not work on my hair. It doesn't hold. It just clumps my hair together and then it looks like my edges are thinner. Um, so I didn't really have much luck and that is a new product. So I might take that back. Um, but I really wanted to do a cute clip look. I don't know if I was successful. <laughs> I'm going in with the EOS Lip Balm and Pomegranate Scent for final touches. Um, it never hurts to have some juicy lips, y'all. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you can. Have a good one. Bye.